Hey guys, um, so you guys have seen me ink before, um, especially with the Inktober videos, and uh, I'm going to be inking for you today, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I have a, a lot of white inks that I've purchased, um, mostly for correctional purposes, and they don't really work so well for that. But I thought, I realized, it only took me forever, that they would probably look great on black paper. My big concern was I didn't want there to be smearing when I erased the white ink. So I actually did some tests, and I'm going to try to, here we go, some tests of the inks I thought might work the best with erasing. Um, I tested FW White Acrylic, FW Pearlescent, and the Winsor Newton Gold, and then I allowed it to dry for a couple of hours, and I erased, and there was no smudging as long as the eraser itself is clean of graphite prior to your erasing. So, um, since that worked out well, I'm going to do a white and gold ink for you guys today. Um, I sketched it with, I want to say, like H graphite, a harder graphite. Um, and I try to use a fairly light hand, although there is construction lines. It's very difficult for me to draw um, something that looks good without construction lines. And I'm using a two camera setup, my cell phone with a macro lens and my camcorder. Um, I'm gonna move or try to move this cell phone around to try and get the best shot without it getting in the camera too much. Right now I'm having trouble finding a tripod that um, is small enough that I can, because I have lenses that could literally be on top of the paper, which is kind of what I want, but I don't have a tripod that will actually hold my camera in, its, in the case that holds the lens. Um, so when I can solve that problem, then I will definitely have a little bit more interesting viewing angles for you guys because I know my hands get in the shot and I've been fiddling with um, camera position so my head doesn't get in the way again. So the ink I'm using today is um, FW White acrylic ink and I have it in a Dinky Dips cup and I'm using a clean, like 100% clean uh, Creative Mark Rhapsody Kalinsky Sable brush from Jerry's Artorama, which I like because they have, they're really very good um, watercolor brushes and uh, for what they are. And they're cheaper than Winsor Newton Series 7 and the bristles are a little shorter. So that actually helps me because I'm heavy handed and I'll tend to smudge things. And I also have a Winsor Newton not waterproof gold ink that I'm going to be inking some of the, the accents with. So, um, Let's get started. I'm probably going to use a synthetic brush for the gold because the gold ink is, well, it smells really weird for ink. So, um, I don't exactly trust it and this is gonna be hard because I can't see what I'm doing super well and I also haven't eaten yet today so my hands are kind of shaky So what I think is going to be a problem with the white ink is the more layers you put on it, the more op the more opaque it's going to end up being. And um, this is just kind of like my first time messing around with it. So I, while I'm aware that that's probably a thing, I just kind of want to see where it goes and just kind of forgive myself if it's a little bit weird. And uh, I'm probably going to let it dry like forever because I'm actually leaving town tomorrow um, ugh, for a show. Dang, the more I go over this nose, the worse it gets. And there's a spiral. This is a like a black paper sketchbook. Um, and the spirals are really annoying because they keep my hand keeps catching on them because they're so tiny. And because the notebook itself is kind of small in my opinion. Um, I don't really like notebooks this size, sketchbooks this size. Um, 
so my hand keeps catching on it and I really have to be okay with it not looking perfect because I have pretty much done all of the thing I'm doing all of the things that are gonna make it look not good because I haven't eaten so my hands are shaky I'm using something completely new so that's always has an element of risk and failure and I'm doing it on camera so I'm actually working in kind of a tight space um, I record at my drafting table and I pretty much only use my drafting table to record now um, but there's just not a lot of space on it because I don't have a lot of tabletop storage in my studio because I have a cat who wants to jump so you can't you can't leave stuff like that out for him uh, <laughs> I think the next place I live, a uh, studio is going to be off limits to cat. Because I think it's ridiculous that I allow a cat to make important decisions regarding what works and what doesn't work for me. So usually when I'm inking, my big concern is the face. If the face turns out okay, because it has the most fine details and it has, um, like that's how you know who it is for the most part, is the face usually. Um, if the face and hair look good, then um, everything else will just kind of follow. Like this face is not looking as good as I would have liked. It's because I should have eaten something before inking. Alright, so it doesn't count as food, but I just ate a Twix. So I'm hoping that'll kind of even out my um, blood sugar t so that I can finish this. Don't worry, I'm not diabetic. I'm not doing anything like... Well, I mean, it's stupid. It's stupid not to eat, but I'm not, like, putting my life at risk. I'm just postponing a meal by 30 minutes. It's not that big a deal other than the handshakes, which are only noticeable anyway when I'm inking. And it's, like, 3 in the afternoon, and I'm just kind of a little bit late for lunch. I don't know if that's going to make the handshakes better. That's okay. I will decide if I like the technique and then try it again some other time. I have all these colored inks that um, I don't use as much as I probably should since I have so many of them. Mostly because uh, I'm not really sure like what to do with them. And I'm also not entirely sure if they're Copic safe. I'm, I'm fairly sure they're, they're waterproof, so that's not a big deal. I could do watercolor stuff with them. And I probably should. Like, I need to be more adventurous. Also, since this is kind of a negative of what um, we're used to seeing, I probably do need to be more careful. Like, I think using white ink on black paper will probably take longer. Because you need to be cleaner than you need to be with black ink. Because with black ink, you can kind of bump up the contrast in Photoshop. Oh, man. That looks... That looks rough to me already. Like, I already don't like it. I'm going to keep pushing through. I'm going to finish it. I'm not going to just quit. And I just... I feel like... I did steal one of my watercolor brushes. Um, because... My black, I don't have multiples yet of uh, my favorite inking size that aren't watercolor brushes. Um, 
so I stole one of my watercolor brushes and I cleaned it and I conditioned it and I thought it would be good enough and it, maybe it's not. I'm gonna have to clean it really well too. That's why I'm using a synthetic brush that I don't use for watercolor at all for the gold ink because I don't want to ruin it. I really need more desk space. One of my Christmas presents to myself this year is going to be, a, I think I've mentioned this on the channel before, um, like a plastic desk to go on the side of my drafting table. Like, even just like a cheap whatever. So I can put stuff on that instead of on my drafting table. Because I have lost so much space to this stuff, which has to be within arm's reach. Um... And then also like recording stuff and like probably a computer L desk at this point would be ideal because I don't actually elevate my drafting table. I don't paint at my drafting table as part of it. Um, and I also have like some of my marker storage on my drafting table. Some of it I was able to move off of it finally. It only took like two years. But hopefully when I get back from New Orleans and Nocus Fest, I can give you guys maybe a studio tour. I know some people enjoy that kind of stuff. My studio space is usually a huge wreck. I don't know why. Doing this on camera would be a good idea. Other than I thought you guys, I thought it'd be cool to have another video tutorial. And I've been working on doing like a lot of um, product mini review videos. It's probably going to look even more confusing once the I erase the graphite. And the spirals keep catching on the edge of my desk. Man. And I took, um, this is like the Futuro desk that I think like everybody has. And I took the, the pencil catch off of it because I, it like was like cutting up my arms. Because <laughs> I don't use the desk elevated and I can't get my chair up high enough anymore. Yeah, great combination of dumb issues. Uh, so it's not like, it's not like, huh? Hang on a sec, I'm gonna get this gold open. Okay, so I'm having a really hard time getting the gold open, and I got it open last night, so I know um, it's not like it's like forever dried. So I'm trying an old trick that I use for other things I can't get open, where I wrap a rubber band around it to give me some, ha, 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 it got open, yeah, awesome. Ha, ha, so if you guys have a hard time opening bottles with like overly smooth caps like uh, the one on the Windsor Newton gold ink wrap a rubber band around it and uh, it should help you get enough of a grip that you can loosen it ha <laughs> I mean I was like I, I probably given that I was like struggling with it for 10 minutes off camera um I probably did loosen it significantly, but the rubberized grip that the rubber bands give you makes such a difference. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm trying a synthetic brush with my gold ink. It's actually um, like a tester's model painting brush. Um, I think it was sent to me in like an art snacks, and I remember looking at it and being like, Ugh. this was this was back when I was not happy with the quality of their selections um and it's not like a great synthetic brush but it was a small synthetic brush and it is a small synthetic brush and I thought well if the gold ruins it I actually don't care because I don't use it at all and it's okay maybe I'll keep it around just for the gold ink
and this gold ink is not waterproof um, so if you want to add it to something you're going to paint you can there's two techniques you can do um, one of them is you can add it first and then add your water and it'll add like this really beautiful gold kind of glaze to your work um, it doesn't show up in scans I actually did last year's Christmas cards with that technique and um, it didn't show up in the scans but it looks really cool on the original so it's great for like if you do commissions or if you're doing something for yourself um, the second is to add the gold um, after you've painted which is what I had um, for my cards I I knew it was gonna do that because I had done it on another project as a test um, you add your gold accents again afterwards so if you have like leaves or scroll work or something I'm actually thinking of my own stuff when I say that unfortunately this brush does not get a very let me try the little camera that's kinda cool not great it doesn't get a fine enough tip to pull nice looking fine details so my details look kinda crummy and if you're curious how I'm doing the dual cameras um, my camcorder actually allows me to sync another camera or a smartphone so I'm using my iPhone 4s um, and it's kind of a little bit surprising actually that it'll work because um, it is a 4s that's a little bit on the older side um, and at, while I was like trying to get the cap open I actually got a call I have a Volkswagen Jetta TDI and I, I bought it before all of this diesel hoopla started um, and I'm still kind of like waiting to see what Volkswagen is gonna do about it um, I heard they're like sending out gift cards and also like extending your warranty by another three years um, and I'd had a factory warranty for three years when I bought the Jetta and it's just run out and I've gotten like non-stop I've even I put my phone number on a do not call list several times but like pretty much every day I get calls from scammy insurance extenders warranty extenders trying to get me to buy another warranty mm. and now especially because it, it's sounding like um, Volkswagen is going to extend the warranty anyway since they kind of goofed with the cars they kind they really goofed with the cars um, I I mean I wasn't gonna pay for a warranty anyway because it it, <laughs> it means you can only take it to a certified Volkswagen dealership and when I my car got in an accident in uh, Virginia it, it also means if you take it at the time it meant if you took it to anyone else it would void your warranty and I got in an accident in rural Virginia coming back from NecoCon and uh, it meant I had to be towed like 200 miles to the nearest Jetta dealership so it really boxes you in um, and I mean it was I had to pay for the service um, my insurance actually wasn't going to cover it which is I mean that's a different story but it's not like Volkswagen covered the repairs I covered the repairs but I couldn't take it to another dealership because it would void the warranty so I had to go really out of my way actually a friend was kind I was staying with a friend and they were kind enough to um, bring me back and forth a couple of times to get the car sorted um, but yeah that was a bad situation that I don't really want to repeat so uh, you guys almost definitely can't see it but as this gold ink dries it's actually really cool because it the the flakes I'm assuming it's mica but the the sparkly flakes in it kind of like seem like they're boiling or bubbling it's cool to watch anyway I think what I was saying is um, so I got an annoying call that I've already told them several 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 times to never call me again um, I've tried being nice I've tried being rude I've put my number on the do not call list I told them if they ever called me again I was gonna report them to the BBB I mean they don't care 
they probably are already on that list, so it doesn't matter to them. But um, while I was trying to get this thing undone, somebody called me, and I'm using my phone as a second recording device, and it, um, it like disconnects from my camera, and it's a little bit of a hassle to get it redone. And I was thinking it was like my boyfriend or um, one of my friends or some, just something kind of important, but it wasn't. It was this bull, and it made me pretty annoyed because I've been fighting with it for like about a year now. You would think after a year of being told no consistently, they would understand that you don't want to buy a renewed warranty, but they don't care. You know, keep nagging till they get what they want. I'm the sort of person who the more that happens, the less I will not give in. Like, I'll just get angry because you're wasting my time and you're being disrespectful. I'm not really the sort of person you can wear down. Okay, so that gold's not entirely dry. But that's adulthood. My grandfather used to say that owning a car is a cancer. And he didn't even live like he wasn't even <laughs> this isn't even a thing he had to deal with and he could also change his own oil and all I mean that's a skill I've always wanted to have but I don't and I don't trust myself to do it through a book I would like to have somebody show me I suppose I could like YouTube it but I really really do learn better Especially for things like that, where if I mess it up, it could be thousands of dollars in repair. I really do better from somebody directly showing me. So I think I'm going to do my Christmas cards again this year. The And the way that works is I pretty much put an all call on my blog, my Tumblr, and my Twitter and I might do it on Instagram since they now allow like a direct private message um, that interested parties should send me um, like a PO box or a mailing address and I'll send them a Christmas card and I do a different design every year they're usually Kara designs because that's what I care about and I usually write like a little message on it like different one for every person. So if that's something you're interested in, you should think about sending me that probably mid-December. This will not be that design though. Kind of, I mean, the, the, the black, white, and gold is pretty cool. Um, I'm, the opacity variations annoy me a little bit. I guess it looks like a chalkboard, so I guess that's kind of cool. But, um, like, especially with her eyes. Uh, uh. I'm going to nitpick and nitpick and nitpick, and it's going to look horrible when I'm done because I have a, a problem with, like, over fixing when I should just be ready to move on. I'm sorry about the angle of the second camera, but I'd already talked to you guys about wanting a different tripod. So if you have any recommendations for like heavier, older camera uh, phones, camera phones, smartphones, um, that will work with a case and be able to be close to the desk. I was kind of thinking about getting one of those grippy tripods because I could attach it maybe to my camera mount and maybe that would allow me to get a little bit closer. See, 
see all the things that work with black ink don't necessarily work with white ink and like that second layer over there on her collar that's like a little bit weird and I just don't really give myself a lot of room to ink on this desk my arm is like always falling off the table which is bad because it means I can't pull from my whole arm I'm pulling from my elbow at best so it means I can't pull nice long lines um, and I even looked at um, like armrests like my, my significant other recently got a one of the armrests that you attach outside of your table so it's a arm support and I was thinking that if I could get that to work it would be really great because it has like a really good range of movement and it pivots and it would mean um, my arm was free to move instead of like being attached to the very edge of the desk which is just a bad place but it didn't he let me try it out and it didn't work on my desk so I guess I gotta find something else and then one of my friends came over to visit and accidentally broke my desk chair so it doesn't it doesn't get up like it won't I can't make it taller and I'm a short person and the desk is already kind of tall so I'm like really Man, this is so many new new avenues to explore for improvement, is what it is. So many changes I can make, and it'll make things look better, hopefully. So that's, that's ex an exciting way to think about it. I mean, I'd been wanting a better chair than what I had anyway, because the chair I have is not at all designed to be used at a drafting table. I had a stool, and the stool was horrible for my back, so um, I used... A chair from elsewhere in my apartment it's like a, a knockoff office chair from uh, world market so it's meant to look like a designer chair but it oh packages here it functions mm, not even as well as a chair from like Walmart would so I've been looking at better chairs for my drafting table ones with removable arms for example and um, lumbar support and footrest would be nice I don't think I'm going to get that though all of these changes So I'm sure there are cooler ways to use the white ink, and I'm definitely going to be brainstorming them when I'm in Louisiana. Hopefully I'll think of something. Lately I've been, it's been harder for me to think of cool things because I, it requires like a lot of quiet, and a lot, but also a lot of inspiration. Um, and I've had friends over, and so I've spent a lot of my energy helping them, giving them stuff but it's kind of a one-way street. Um, they, we have a very, like, uh, you're, well, it's more like um, an older sibler, sibling, younger sibling relationship, so they're very used to uh, Becca doing it for them, but not necessarily having to offer anything in return. So I loan them like supplies and art books and I let them have my drafting table when they stay and I mean you know I'm just trying to encourage them as much as possible because that's how I would have liked to have been treated but I don't have anybody like that in my life who does the reverse for me so it would be nice. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel that way too. Especially those of us who are older siblings in real life. Like I have a younger brother, so this relationship is very normal to me. I um, I'm used to looking out without 
really expecting to be able to ask for much in return. And I mean, my younger brother actually does, and my friends do too, like I'm not, I don't mean to like ride them or anything, they're really good people, they're really nice, I'm just a little bit older and a little bit more established, so there is more I can, I can offer them, at least in terms of art supplies. And I mean, you know, what's the point of running an art supply review blog if I can't help my friends with it? With the things I've learned from it or the materials I bought. Like I sent the friend home with a bunch of stuff that I'd purchased and tested and was just kind of like meh about. Because I'd rather get used by somebody than sit in my closet and not ever get used. And what would be super great, but it probably isn't going to happen, would be a, like a shout out just like ah oh, thanks for the blah blah back but that like I, people I don't necessarily think about it either you know so I can't I can't get uppity about a thing I don't necessarily remember to do hmm meow Okay, so I wow no that was interesting. If not, um, according to plan, I'm gonna let the gold dry and then maybe add some white accents to it. I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, and get back to you guys. Or I'll just sit here and nitpick for another minute. You know, like you do. So I think I'm going to do something that I will... Maybe not. I was thinking about doing Kara's eyelashes in gold because they're really bugging me. But maybe I shouldn't. I think though I will, um, the thread on, on the beads, I think I will do white and maybe like a boop. Uh, highlight? I don't know. It was an interesting experiment, though, and I think I will try out more colors, inks, more colored ink things later because even though this experiment didn't really go the way I wanted it to it's still pretty cool actually it looks a lot better when you start layering the gold and the white when they start interacting like that guess I should have done more of it maybe I should do the gold eyelashes but I'm definitely going to make this stupid looking collar a little whiter and maybe do something on it. And then somebody keeps trying to get me on my phone and I'm not answering it because it's going to mess up my recording. Like someone really wants my attention. It's probably Twitter or a text message. Well, I'm sorry. Did 
you guys ever make or draw or crochet or paint or sculpt or whatever a something and then like two weeks later when you look at it you hate it when you do it you're like this is horrible and then two weeks later you're like oh actually that happens to me a lot it's because I I go into it with like certain expectations and it doesn't meet those expectations and two weeks later I've kind of forgotten those expectations so I can see it a little in a little bit of a different light and I mean part of it is also the brush is um, not as good a brush that I would have liked and part of it is I'm just really not used to um, the variable opacity being such a factor and I mean I really should have eaten something before I started inking but it was interesting and um, uh, it's nice to do things differently change up how you do things I have a bad tendency that if I like a process I'll just only do that process so even if it doesn't turn out the way you'd want it it's cool to try new things and then the next time you do it it can look a little bit better hopefully or just different Dif not what you had in mind in a different way also good because you're learning there too and I need to clean out my brushes like ASAP because this is acrylic ink and once it's dried it's dried for good it's hard to get it out okay so that's how that experiment turned out um, I hope it inspired you or gave you some ideas um, I will probably play around with it in another way later on. So, uh, that was me inking with white and gold ink on black paper. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!